All right, try to listen, please. Listening. All right, so we're going to make a superhero logo. A good thing about a superhero logo is that it's the same on one side as it is on the other a lot of times. What's that called? Symmetrical. Yeah, so it's symmetrical. So luckily there's a thing you can do in Fusion to make things symmetrical that'll make your work a lot quicker. And when it comes to doing a, 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 your own superhero logo, which you'll eventually do, if you do it symmetrical, even if you're a bad drawer, it still kind of looks kind of cool. Right? So here's what we do. The first thing you always do is this. Click create a sketch. Then you click a face. Right? And what I'm going to do before I do anything else is draw a line. Draw a line that goes down the dead center of my uh, workspace. Right, now I'll show you how we're going to use this to make logos. So if I draw on this side, if I draw on that side of that line, and I go back and press shift and select all of those lines, okay, I've selected all those lines. I'm going to mirror it with the mirror function. Okay, so to get any sort of function up, you type S for search, then you type mirror. Okay, make sure you click on the top one, you don't want to click on the second one. Okay, you know it's working because it already says there's eight things selected, which is good. Then you go, then underneath that it says select the mirror line, which is this. So you can quickly flip something over and make a mirror copy. All right, I'm going to finish that sketch, but Connie, I didn't tell you to turn your computer around. Can you turn it all the way around to face the front so you're not looking at it? Right. so I'm going to go find this sketch and hide it because I don't want to see it. It's, it's garbage, okay? I don't need it. Yeah. Right. create another sketch. And now we're going to do Batman for real. Select the face you want to draw on. Draw a line that goes down the dead center. Alright, what I'm going to do is draw a circle that the logo will be inside. Draw another circle. And then draw another circle. Why did I draw three circles like that? Because that's going to be like the border of the logo. Yeah? Alright, now. I might turn this off, snap to grid off, because that gets a little tricky. Snap to grid, grid is, is useful for some things, but sometimes it's not the best. Alright, so snap to grid is down here. So I'm going to turn that off now because I want more ease when it comes to drawing my picture. Alright. The Batman logo I think is actually pretty easy to draw. You start inside a circle and you add Oops. I'm gonna try try that again. You add pointy little bits for the wings, for the tail, and then so I use the spline. I use the spline for those bits. Now I'm gonna use the straight line for the head. Okay. So now I'm going to go select, select, select. I'm holding shift to select these lines. S for search. Type in mirror. Okay. My objects are already selected, which is good. Select the mirror line. Okay. Now I'm going to go finish sketch. Okay, it zooms out and it looks like this. Righto, so I'm going to select that side of the Batman, that side of the Batman symbol, that one, that one, and I want to select the border as well. 
So I want to, everything that I want for this part, I'm going to select. I'm going to go click the extrude button and then I type 7 to make it 7 high. Is that 7 high? Make it 7 high. And then click OK. What is missing from this though? Color? And the so what I'm going to do before I add color is I want to make sure that there's a backing behind it. So I don't want it to be just floating there. I want to have a little backing behind it. So I'm going to find my original sketch and then I'm going to select everything behind. Alright, and see how, see how the Batman th thing there is hiding? So I'm going to turn bodies off, then select inside, 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 inside. So that whole circle is selected. Then I can turn bodies back on. And then I extrude again. How tall was the symbol? Seven. So if I want this to be slightly shorter, I'll go four. Alright, and I've got to pay attention to this. So I don't want it to cut into what I've drawn. I don't want it to join because I want it to be two separate things. So I'm going to make a new body. And then I'll go OK. And if I hide my sketch, I've got this. Alright, so somebody said the next thing we should do is make get, give it colour to make it look better. Right? To give it colour, you've got to change the appearance. If you type A on your keyboard, A for appearance, this pops up. So these are materials you can apply to your design. So just say I wanted this to look like it was made out of wood. I'm going to go down to wood. Yep. I'm going to go down to wood. I'm going to drag a piece of one of these textures on top of it. I see some some of my log some of my textures aren't loaded yet. If I click the download arrow, it takes about twenty seconds to download. Then I can drag it onto the next bit. All right, so there's a wooden symbol, but that's probably not the most appropriate thing for what we want to make. So we've got plastic. Uh, yeah, one sec. Alright, so what I'm going to do, instead of go plastic woodwork, I'm going to go to leather. I'm going to get a black leather, put it on top of the Batman logo. Put it on top of the border. Then there's yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Right, and that's how you make something that looks like a Batman logo. Alright, quickly, because I'm making a video, so the last thing we want to do is make a, take a picture of this that will look good. So I'm going to go to from design down to render. In the render, it makes like a high quality version of what you've got. So I'm going to twist it around so that the light catches it. Then I'm going to go render, render. Oh, I've got to save first. Save. Okay, render, render. Still saving. Render. Alright, so see this number here? See this number here? If it's 2,222 pixels, it's going to be pretty high resolution, yeah? That's cool, but just for this, I'm going to make it a little smaller. So 800 by 800. Make sure it says local renderer. Render. Right, while it's doing that, it's thinking. The pitch is popping up down here. It's popping up. It's thinking. thinking it's thinking and then if I click on that I can download my render 
and I can save it as a JPEG, a PNG, any sort of picture. Okay, does that make sense? All right, who thinks they can make a Batman logo? Who thinks they can give it a go? Excellent. If you want to change the colors, you can.